Hi, this is Jason Rohr, and this is the third tutorial video for the controller interface of Sleep is Death. This video shows more advanced usage of the room editor. Starting where we left off last time, we've created this modified farm pond scene where we've modified the room in the background to include this river flowing through the scenery. Let's suppose that we anticipate the player might want to walk up to the edge of this pond in the center of our scene and execute a verb where they dive into it. So we want to create some sort of underwater scene where they can fr uh, swim freely inside the pond. In order to do that, let's open up the room editor and create a brand new room from scratch. But before doing that, let's grab the tile picker tool and pick some of these tiles um, that we might want to use as part of this underwater scene. Some of the water, some of the edges of the pond as it transitions to dirt, um, some of this uh, brown color here and some of this darker brown color and transitions between dark brown and light brown. And then when we switch to the stack mode, we'll see that all of those tiles that we picked have been added to the stack and they're ready to go. So let's clear out the scene to create a new one. Um, back to a default blank scene. Pick this uh, dark blue tile here, which will be the fill color for our water. Block out an area here like this. Use the fill tool to fill it in. And that is the uh, underwater area. Now let's imagine that we're going to have uh, an edge for that water as it transitions into soil. Let's use the line fill tool here to drop that line in. And then a transition as the soil uh, becomes lighter uh, near the surface. Uh, whoops, undo that. Switch to the horizontal line tool and drop that in there like that. Okay, now up here above the water and above the ground, we're going to want some sky. And of course, this, uh, this line here won't continue up onto into the sky, but we'll clear that out once we have the sky. So switching back to the search mode, let's search for sky and see what we've got. Okay, we have a, a sky tile that exists already, but it's a little dark for my liking. So I'm going to open up the tile editor here select the color, open up the color editor, and using the value slider, lighten it up a bit. Um, let's saturate it a little bit more, and let's drag it in the hue a little bit more this way to a little bit brighter kind of blue color. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. So we've got that, t that color now, fill it in, and the name sky is fine, so just close the tile editor and that tile will automatically be saved. So now we have this new sky tile here. Um, let's use the single uh, tile tool to put one there. Now we can fill in this line up here, fill in left and fill in, uh, fill in the right, uh, left and right sides here. So now we have a sky going across the top. Okay, so let's go back to our stack and look at some of the other tiles that we're going to need to flesh out the rest of the scene. So first of all, let's have a nice um, round gradation on the edge of the pond. Let's put um, one of these uh, brown gradations, which we don't have, so let's open this up and use the rotate tool to create a new tile. Um, to make a nice brown to brown gradation here. Um, let's look for the, we don't have an edge uh, from brown to light brown, so let's open up the tile editor again, use the rotate tool and close the tile to save it to using the line tool, let's make a line of those down the edge like that. Um, and then we're gonna want some sort of uh, darker brown filled in here. We don't have any of those tiles at all, so let's grab one of those, open up the tile editor um, pick the dark brown color and using the fill tool just kind of mouse across here dragging to fill in all these areas. Uh, forest doesn't make sense for a name for this anymore so let's just call it ground and now we can save it by closing the tile editor and using the fill tool fill in there. So now we have the top of the ground, we have a transition here but we don't have a bottom for the pond so let's create that now with a single tile here. Uh, let's start the bottom, undo that, let's start the bottom here um, transitioning off like this, um, put some brown transition there, um, pick this uh, underground darker color and put that behind there and under here, um, and then let's have another ground transition here, and then finally finish off with a line of uh, pond bottom kind of color going across here like this. Okay, so now we have a nice curved edge here for the pond and a nice curved edge going into the bottom. So let's think about, so this, this, this room is looking pretty good. Let's think about adding some walls. Okay, so where are the areas? Let's first block out some areas that we definitely don't want the player walking. Uh, we don't want them walking through the ground. We don't want, want them walking through the bottom. And we don't want them walking um, through this edge here. Let's add one more tile there. Now we can use the fill tool on the room walls to fill in that area where they definitely can't walk. Um, and we're going to want to let them pass through this area up here. So clear off that spot and then use fill to clear um, the rest of those room walls. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Um, let's add it to our room database. And now if we search for farm pond here, we see we have three different farm ponds and this is the one that we're currently editing. 
So close this. Um, so now we have the scene with all these props in the wrong spot because we just switched the room out from under it. So using the clear, uh, the clear button here, we can clear the whole thing out, go back to our room picker, pick that room again, um, and then come back out to the scene. And now the player object needs to be assigned again, so let's put him back as farmer. Okay, so there's our farmer. He's in the new room. Um, let's add a little bit more background scenery here. Um, let's add one of those trees uh, along, that are sitting along the edge of the pond. And let's just drop that in right here. So now we have uh, the edge of the pond. We got uh, a tree here, and the farmer can walk up on the surface here and also down into the pond. Let's test it and see what happens. So in practice mode, uh, while we're controlling the player, we can see that, yes, indeed, we can walk down inside the pond just like we want. We can also walk along up on the surface, but we can also walk up into the sky. So that's not great. Let's close this, and let's employ a little bit of a trick with room walls here to make an area of the scene where the player can't walk. We don't want them walking up into the sky. We want them to be able to walk up along the surface. So let's fill up this whole area in with walls up here. So now they can't walk up here at all. Um, let's add this version and uh, let's bring the player back down to earth here and test it again. Okay, so from the player's point of view, now we can walk up along here. We can't go up into the sky at all, and we can go down into the pond, but now we can still walk along the surface of the water, which isn't so great. Um, let's try one more time, tweaking the walls a little bit more. Um, so we don't want the player to be able to walk up at the sky right here. Um, so let's use the horizontal fill tool to fill there. And also, if you think about it, if the player is standing with their anchor right here, their head is going to be sticking up above the water, and that's going to look kind of strange. So let's use the horizontal fill tool again to block that off. So they can either be standing up on the edge here, or their anchor can be standing with their head down below the water. So they can't be standing with half their body up out of the water. So closing the uh, room editor will save that room again. Now let's bring the player back over into a reasonable spot and test one more time. Okay, so moving as the player, we can now move along up here, can't move up into the sky, can't walk along the surface of the water, so if they try to do that, they can't do that, and can't walk up right below the surface of the water either. They can either be in the water, down along the bottom, walking on the bottom, or up and out. And that is exactly how we want our room to look. And so we're done with this room now. Let's close this, um, practice mode, and let's save this as Farm Pond 3, and add it to our database here. So now we have these two different uh, new pond scenes that we've created, one where the player is about to dive in if they execute that verb, and the other one where they're freely walking all around the edge of the pond. Um, let's go back to our room editor, though. And we have a couple of old rooms ling lingering in the database from things that we were working on. So let's clear that one out. We don't want that one anymore where they can walk in the sky. We don't want this one anymore where they can walk on the surface of the water either. Um, but this is the one that we have, so let's keep that one. Um, so then we have our scenes ready to go. No more rooms lingering in the database. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.